So hello guys, so we are back, the cluster is up and running. So you can see the deployment, what it has provisioned in. It gives you a detail uh, about, you know, what sort of resources it provisions, okay? And it's also important, you know, in certain cases when you are uh, uh, deploying, Azure is deploying heterogeneous uh, services, then uh, it may fail, okay? So if the status is not okay, then you can always see an operation details and in case of uh, production systems where you meet certain like you know uh, like cluster capacity in that particular region is uh, uh, over in that cases you can always go to the operation details and get more context what exactly had happened and uh, why it couldn't provision with particular node uh, the size which you have mentioned in that particular uh, region uh, so that also helps this particular operation details will also help you in you know debugging understanding the AK stuff more how exactly it provisions on Azure and also it gives insights for the support engineers to help you in case something wrong goes in here. So after this I'll just go to my resource so it would redirect you know you to directly uh, directly something called as AKS cluster which it has provisioned in the resource group which we have uh, given all the fly it had created and the best thing uh, you know about uh, Azure portal is you can always use Azure cloud cell uh, so the Azure cloud cell gives you an uh, you know uh, interaction environment to interact with any of your Azure resources for those who do not know about cloud shell and for this what it does how it gonna work you know like I can I can use uh, some my PowerShell to run the commands or I can I uh, use my bash to uh, run, uh, run the command or I can use my any of the CLI components which I have actually I can use to run but what is a you know uh, the beauty of or that uh, the adva added advantage of using cloud shell is you can edit the files you do not need to store those files in local somewhere in here like that in folder rather than you can store somewhere in in particular storage okay for that only you know I show what how exactly this cloud shell would work is like it would spin up a remote machine for you and that particular remote machine would be part of the Azure uh, complete backbone network and when you uh, you know run your files or run some cassetting commands since that being a part of the Azure backbone network itself so it has authentication to execute certain steps but but note it would take your credentials and your particular RBAC permissions to do that